What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 8. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another amazing team to show off for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a Shadow Rider Calyrex team alongside with a bunch of other meta Pokemon. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across this channel. But rocking out on this team, getting started in that top left corner like we normally do. We got Incineroar. Incineroar has an Intimidate ability, obviously. The Shuka Berry as its item so it can eat up a ground move. We got Flare Blitz, Parting Shot, Snarl, and Fake Out. I'm loving this moveset because I can take out special attackers easily. And I have Parting Shot to kind of dip back and forth. We got the Flare Blitz for Stab and Fake Out, obviously, for that first turn flinch. Right next to him, we got the Assault Vest Landers Double Intimidate team right here. So physical attackers are not standing a chance up against us. Ground and Flying type, EQ, Fly, Rock Slide, and U turn normal moveset for Landorus. Beyond the face cam, we got a great support mod of Amoongus with a Regenerator, the Koba Berry, so we can eat up an air move. Spore, Rage Powder, Protect, Sludge Bomb, nothing new for him. Next to him, we got Regilecki with a Magnet, Transistor ability, Electro Web to slow down, Thunderbolt for stab, Bolt switch to pivot and swap out, and then Protect as our final move. Bottom left corner is a big physical attacker for our team. We got Urshfu, obviously holding that Focus Hatch. You cannot have an Urshfu without a Focus Hatch. Actually, I feel like it's either Focus Hatch or Choice Fan, but most of the time I like to run out of the Focus Hatch on him. We got the Unseen Fist so we can hit through Protects, Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Sucker Punch, and Protect. I think it's kind of funny how like when this uh, when Urshfu first came out, everyone was using the Water one, but now you never see the Water one. It's always a Fighting and Dark one on every single meta team. But final spot we have is Calyrex, the one and only right here. Life Orb Pokemon, we have the As One ability, so it has it gets the Unnerve ability. And the, uh, what is it, the Grim Nay, so when we get a KO, we get a special attack boost. We got Psychic for Stab, Draining Kiss for a coverage move, Astral Barrage for our Stab and Signature move, and Nasty Plot to set up our special attack and potentially sweep teams. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Shadow Rider Calyrex team. Hopping into battle number one, and we are actually almost done using all the restricted mods for Series E. I think Calyrex is one of the last. We also have Necrozma to do. Necrozma Lunala and Necrozma uh, Solgaleo. I don't know if they're the same Pokemon. I think they're different, but I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, but we definitely got to use them up to finish up all the restricted mods. But we're going up against a Lugia team right here, alongside with Gujar, Politoed, Heliosk, um, who is that? Grimmsnarl and Ferrothorn. Okay, um, Intimidate could be pretty good here. He has a few physical attackers. Uh, mostly special. I am going to lead the Incineroar because I do have, uh, don't I have Snarl on him? I believe I do. I believe I have Snarl, which is great. We're definitely going to bring the Calyrex in and have some fun with it. Um, we go Regilecki. Regilecki's not bad. Could go Urshfu. I think I'm going to lead the Calyrex. Go Urshfu and bring Regilecki in the final spot. Or I could go Lando. Lando's not bad. Mm, we are definitely going to bring this Regilecki. He's going he's gonna to be pretty good up against the Lugia and the, uh, the what's it called? And the Politoed. We can do some work up against. Let's get rolling here. Let's try to get ourselves a win to get this video started. But yo, I changed the music up. I changed it to Zassy and Zamazetta. So we're getting a little hype tunes going today. Look at it. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> it's an absolute jam. But I do like the old time legendary music way more than all the new legendaries. Like like Gen 4 and back legendary music. Like when you used to get it, it was hype. Like, dun -dun 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 -dun. like dude, it used to hype you up. Like, yeah, yo, it's legendary time. Now it's just like, eh, it's okay. It could be better. Or like Elite 4 and Gen 3 music, absolute jam. Absolute jam. Just hypes you up, lets you know you're, you're here at the final battle. But we're going to get the Intimidate drop on both these guys. Uh, they're both, well, Grimmsnarl is physical. Lugia is usually special attacking. I am going to Snarl. This could proc a policy. This could proc a policy, but Astral Barrage though. Astral Barrage. Um, actually, I might fake out instead. Actually, I think I'd rather Snarl. I think I would rather get that special attack drop. Right? I think I'd rather do that. And then just Dynamax and get this Max Phantasm off. I think that's the play. Let's get it. Let's get rolling here. Luki is probably weakness policy. I'm not even going to lie here. I can totally see it being weakness policy. But if we can start dominating with this guy, we can uh, potentially just sweep. Like if, I, if I pick up a KO here, say he doesn't Dynamax Lugia and I pick up a KO, it's going to be GG's because I'm just going to get a uh, Grimnade boost it. And we're just going to be able to thrive out from there. Let's see your turn, buddy. Let's see your move. Make a move. Big ghost horse. An absolute beast. He's probably going to Dynamax as well. Yeah. Yep. So we're going to see a Dynamax from Lugia. I think. Oh, this thing's probably multi scale too. Doesn't it learn multi scale? This is kind of scary. We might go for the fake out, but hopefully we can get off this snarl. Snarl would be lovely. Might set up a screen. He might do that. But we'll see. We'll see what he does. Make a move, buddy. 
Is he gonna fake me out? He is. He is gonna drop the fake out. We're surely fine. I'm gonna go after that snarl. I'm gonna be able to get off this max phantasm. Get that defense drop, and we outspeed, which is wonderful. Things 100% multi scaled. That's multi scaled right there. He probably is policy divided. I guess defense gonna drop, and hopefully he's not policy. That would be a huge plus for us. It is policy. Kind of saw that coming the whole way. But he's gonna get policy boost. I think he's gonna take out my Incineroar, which is uh, totally fine by me. See what he does. He's gonna go for a hailstorm. We're on Incineroar, or okay, Calyrex. That's fine. Calyrex should be able to eat. Yeah. So Calyrex does outspeed. So with that, I should be able to uh, just pick up easy KO. Go into a snarl, get that special attack drop. The flinch and the buffets all come out here. So I don't know why he was going for that. Was he thinking I was swapping or something along those lines? And can we pick up that KO? I know we have the defense drop. I know we have the defense drop, but I do not want to double up into that thing. I'd rather just go for a snarl. It is special attacking. I think we pick up the KO with a snarl and they, uh... Another horse shot? I sure think so. Let's 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 go with that. Let's go with the snarl and into the Lugia. He's gonna guard. Smart little booger. Smart little booger guards up. If he sets up a light stream, then I have to flare blitz into it, right? That'd be the play. Okay, so he's not setting up a light stream. That's totally fine. Let's see what he does. Let's see what his play is. What is your play, kind sir? I might just flare blitz into it. Make sure I pick up the cast. Spear breaks and come out here. Which we eat up. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna flare blitz just in case uh Calyrex does pick up the KO and if not we'll definitely be able to come through and pick it up. Right? I think that's the play. Get after it. Let's go for that flare blitz. We're doubling up right into this thing. Get after this loot. Yeah, I do not want it here. He might swap. I could definitely see a swap coming, but I think we're fine. I think we're chilling here. Light screen's gonna pop. Okay, yeah, good thing I did flare blitz in the way. He is minus one on the defense board. It's pretty big. And now he's going to be minus two. So this Flare Blitz should be able to pick it up. Yeah, he's going to be able to eat that. I think we should, like, Flare Blitz should be able to do it. As a minus two? As long as Lugia doesn't take out Incineroar. But I, I think Lugia's going to go after my Calyrex. And we're going to go one for one here. Let's see what it does. Rock, oh, oh, yo, this thing Rock Foam. He's going to take out my Incineroar. Go chill on me. Oh, Incineroar eat, yo. I love you, Incineroar. You're the best. You're the best in Sonora. And Sonora's gonna go down the recoil damage here, but hopefully you can pick up this KO onto this thing. If not, I'll be able to go through an ast or into an astral barrage. We don't pick up the KO. That's rough news. That's real rough news. But I know we outspeed. We can go into an astral barrage. And the Buffets could take out the Lugia. Let's see. No, it does not. Oh, are you kidding me? Left on like an inch. You got a free focus dash. Um, uh, do I go Urshfu here? Urshfu's not bad. It's Sucker Punch, we can do all that different stuff. I do have Regilecki, which isn't bad. I can just start e webbing slowing down. But I think my boy might come out here and do some work. Now, you know, we're going to save Urshu for the back back end. We're going to bring out my boy uh, Regilecki. Just so we, we know we have a very fast speed here for whatever he brings out after this. Because Regilecki should be able to pick up or outspeed this Calyrex. And then I can Astral Barrage and potentially pick up a double KO. That can be play. That could be play. Uh, let's go into info. We're well, not info. Let's go into. Uh, I want to see the speeds. I just want to see the speeds. That's what I'm going to do. 277. Yeah. No one's outspeeding Red Light. <laughs> this thing's a beast in speed. But I feel like we should be able to just go into a Thunderbolt here. Do that and just Astro Barrage. And maybe pick up a double KO. Or I could go into a Draining Kiss. That'll probably be afterwards. I'm definitely going to do an Astral Barrage. See how much damage we can do. You know which all Lugia. That's fine. That is totally fine, man. He's going to send out the Gudra. The Gudra. He's going to keep the Lugia in here for a little... Or, or alive for a little bit. Thunderbolt coming out here. Doing some nice damage. And we get the power. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. You love to see it. Astral Barrage is going to come out here. Can we pick up KO? On the Grimmy. I don't know. Go with me. Then no, Grim is able to eat. Gudra eats it as well. I do have Draining Kiss, so next turn I can get back some HP, unless he takes me out with the Spirit Break. Eat this up, buddy. Calyx. It's tasty snack. Ooh, is Buffett's gonna take me out? Mmm. Oh, he keeps dropping my special attack. That's what he's doing. Calyx, eat. Ah, man. Okay. Uh, I think a T-Bolt takes that thing out, and I can bring out my, uh, my Urshabu to get some work done here. This match is far from over. Far from over. But the Electro Web should be able to take out you. I can get the a speed drop, and I can just roll into a wicked blow. 
onto the Gudra. But we already outspeed, so do I really want an Electro Web? Actually, I do want an Electro Web because it will take out the Grimstarl and do a little bit of damage over on the Gudra. Then I think Wicked Blows are best uh, best shot onto the Gudra. I'm surprised that this thing's out Rocket Sucker Punch. The Grimstarl? I could have worried about that when the Calyrex came out. That could be big, big damage on them. There's a solid Sucker Punch. A lot of them are rolling Sucker Punch nowadays. Grimstarls, because of the Shadow Rider Calyrex, is just, just having that coverage move, or not coverage move, stab move onto that Grimstarl can really cover a uh, whole Calyrex. Because it's, I think it's four times super effective on them. But Grimstarl is going to set up a Reflect. This is what I thought he was going to do earlier in the match. I guess he doesn't have a uh, Light Screen. He just has Reflect. But Electro Web's going to be able to take out Grimstarl. Get a little speed drop onto the Gujar like we need it, but we don't even need it. We don't need it at all. Hopefully this Wicked Blow can do a decent amount of damage. And Lugia, I'm not too worried about. Again, we outspeed the Lugia with my Pokemon do. It's going to be a close match. It really is. Wicked Blow is still doing a lot of damage. A lot, a lot of damage. He's lucky he set up that Reflect. He's going to be able to get off a Dragon Pulse here, which we should be able to eat up just fine. Maybe half health us. Yeah, a little bit more. And Gujar's going to go down to Life Orb. Life Orb damage, baby. All right, so Lugia's going to go down here, too, in an E-Web. Easily. Easily. And then who's his other Mon? I don't think he showed it yet, right? I don't think he showed his final Mon, because he led with the Lugia and the Grimstone. So, yo, your boy's, your boy's doing pretty good here. We have speed advantage all day, because I know Red Select is going to be the fastest, and I can E-Web and slow down. Uh, there goes his Lugia. I'm not worried about you. You're dead. And it's Ferrothorn. It's Ferrothorn, which I can just close combat up and finish this off, right? It should be GG's. E-Web comes out. And close combat says, yo, get this boy out of my face. That's GG's. Let's go. Unless he has some sort of first turn priority move. I don't, I don't think he's winning this match. Hopefully he protects with the Fire Thorn. That'd be hilarious so I can just punch through it. But nah, he does not. There, Lugia. Fire Thorn. Rest easy, buddy. This close combat's coming straight for you. It's coming straight for you. Stab. Base 120. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had news to you. I really am. I apologize. And of course it doesn't pick up the KO. Why did I think it was going to do a lot more than that? We might lose this one now. We might lose this one. If he comes after me, what's he going to do? Oh, no. Oh, no. Dude, that close combat actually ate. Or that Fire Thorn actually ate that. We might lose this one. We're going to lose this one. Yo, why do I speak so early, man? <laughs> what do you mean? I always do that. I always speak way too early. Uh, I guess we'll just go for Thunderbolts. Try to get the power on him. But he, he's just going to be able to eat up all day. He doesn't take buffets because he's steel. His leftover is going to help him out. Oh, Regilecki. You're my best friend. With the crit. Regilecki, I just need you to eat this body press. That's all I need from you. You got it. Regilecki. My dude. Regilecki, baby. He clutches it up for us. He's going to get leftovers, but yeah. You, you! I thought close combat was just gonna absolutely dump on him, but I forgot this thing's an absolute defensive bulk. The tank of a defense guy. Please don't miss the Thunderbolt. I'd cry a little bit. Tears would shed. He ball comes out here. Connects. There's the win. Victory for Regilecki. Let's go, baby. One and only to get this video started. We can now hop into battle number two. Try to get a win streak going with the Shadow Rider Calyrex team. Not gonna lie, that last battle had me shaking in my boots. I thought his Ferrothorn was gonna clutch it up and give us that L, but nah, your boy's Regilecki clutched up and got us that W. But we're going up against a Kyogre team in battle number two, and this is actually surprising. They got a Kyogre team without Tornadus. What? What? Yo, dude, that's nuts. That is nuts. Like, first time ever seeing it. Usually it's just Tornadus, Kyogre, and they just run me, but I still think this battle is gonna be tough right here. Kyogre, Regilecki, Urshfu, Silva. Sil Valley. Why was I going to say Sil Valley? Sylveon, uh, Rillaboom, and Mimikyu. Definitely got to bring in some Intimidate Pokemon up in here. I'm going to uh, lead to Incineroar. Incineroar seems like a fine lead here. Might double up here. Might double up with the Intimidate, but he might lead the Sylveon. You might want to go with Moongus here. Moongus isn't bad. And lead. I think I bring Calyrex. Regilecki. Oh no, I really want both Urshu. Maybe only one. Uh, maybe only one. What's it called? Maybe only one Intimidate Pokemon. Um, which is gonna, I'm gonna bring in Cinnamon. I am gonna bring in Cinnamon. Because I do have Snarl on him, which I really, really like. Doesn't have a Tailwind, Mon. He's rocking Kyogre without a Tailwind. 
Maybe should have led the Regilecki, just in case he leads that Kyogre. I could have just hit it with an E-Web or a, a Thunderbolt, we'll switch out and do whatever I want. But I could always fake it out so I cannot get a Water Spout off. And then drop like an Astral Barrage and go from there. Let's see who he leads. He's going to lead this, ooh, the Sylveon alongside with Urshifu. So we are going to get a minus one onto that Urshifu, which is huge. Which is just dandy. And I can fake out that uh, Sylveon, which I really do like. A nerve coming out here. Intimidate. Do I fake out this uh, Sylveon or do I fake out the the Urshifu? Because I can totally see the Urshifu being uh, Sash. I can totally see the Urshifu being Sash. So I think I'm going to fake out him. Maybe just drop an Astral Barrage. Get an after us. We do that. We're not going to go for a Psychic Stab move, which isn't bad. Hmm. Psychic's not bad. Might double up into Urshifu here. I do not see Urshifu protecting. Good effort. Let's get effort. Let's hit that thing with a quick little fake out. Mwah. And we're gonna take it out and potentially roll Grimne here. This should be able to pick up the KO, no problem. Get after him. Get him out of here. Okay, so we got Grimne boosted. If uh if Calyrex is able to eat up, I'm gonna Dynamax him and roll from there. Grimne! I should have Dynamax turn one and just uh, go with a max mindstorm. But he's gonna go for that hyper voice, obviously, right? Oh mystical fire, okay. I think I might still dyn Dynamax here. It's not a bad move. I mean, he can keep minus my special attack, so maybe not Dynamax him. I'm gonna start snarling. Hopefully, there's that special attacker. That'd be awesome. Thank you very much. Snarl's coming up. One snarl coming right up. Unless that thing outspeeds me. Hmm. Don't like that. The boy don't like that. Definitely gonna try to snarl. Go for an astral barrage. Go for a psychic. We are gonna go for a barrage here. Barrage is very, very nice. Look at this. The user attacks by sending a frightful amount of small ghosts at opposing Pokemon. <laughs> a frightful amount. Like, how much is a frightful amount? <laughs> um, yeah, let's just roll Astral Barrage. Astral Barrage. Astral Barrage coming at you, boy. Um, he's gonna Dynamax. He is not. He's just gonna go straight for an Origin Pulse. And he outspeeds. That's gonna say bye bye to probably both of them, to be honest with you. Yeah, we need a petition. We need a petition to get rid of Kyogre. Like, we need a petition right now. We, we totally need a, peti a petition. Uh, we're going to bring out... Uh, I think Urshfree's going to be your Dynamax Mon. Not even going to lie. Maybe Regilecki. Maybe Regilecki here. Oh, my lord, yo. I hate this game. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Uh, Yeah, we're going to Dynamax Regilecki. Let's get him buzzing out here. Regilecki, send him Max Lightning. Get after it. Get after it. We coming for you. Um, I guess we'll sucker punch. Oh, not sucker punch. We can blow. Or we can close combat. Both of them not very effective over one of you, which kind of stinks. I, I think I'm just going to protect this turn. Protect the Urshfru, Dynamax, Regilecki. I think he's going to Dynamax to Kyogre as well. But Regilecki, obviously the fastest. But, dude, I don't know what to do up against Kyogre sometimes. Like, I, oh my lord. This thing just hits like an absolute truck. It really does. And I can't believe that thing outsped my, uh, my Calyrex. Like, my Calyrex is 222. My Calyrex is 222 speed. That's fast. That is fast. And a Kyogre's really outspeeding it like that? Like, no problem? Here goes my Lightning. Lightning should be able to KO this thing, no problem. Get him out of my face. We're not dealing with you anymore. Thank God it's not Sash. Imagine if that thing was Sash. Like, who would give that to it? But still. Big Protect comes out. He's definitely gonna go uh, try to drop a Hyper Voice here. So that's why I protect it. I really don't want to waste my sash here. I definitely want to get off of Max Lightning. Every voice is coming out. And I think I had to double up into the Sil Valley here. Mm, that's still doing a lot of damage over on my Regilecki. Which I do not like. Which your boy doesn't like. I think I have to get after that thing. Maybe Sucker Punch it. What is this thing? It's going to be Mims. Mims is definitely scary. We're definitely Max Lightning over on you. And I think I have to Sucker Punch. Now my boy outspeeds. I think I'm just going to drop a Wicked Blow on it, this thing. Just in case we don't pick up the KO with the, uh, with the Max Lightning. But Sil Sylveon, Sil Valley. Why do I keep calling it Sil Valley? Sylveon, I think, is going to protect, to be honest with you. But I still have to keep posing that threat. Could have went for the hard read and uh, went after that Mimikyu. But I need this thing dead if we're going to win this game. He's going to Dynamax Mimikyu. And Mimikyu has a disguise on him, so... I don't know about this one, ladies and gents. If we're able to K 
KO the Silval or not Silvalli, Sylveon, the Fairy Eevee, we're just gonna start calling it. We're gonna be able to kill this Fairy Eevee. And he goes after my Urshifu. Then we have a shot at this, because I can Sucker Punch and uh, take off this guy and hit it with a Max Lightning. Oh no, you die in the Max. This thing, you crazy. You crazy. Actually, no, I think this was uh, actually a good call. But so we're we're getting after this thing, trying to trying to pick up the KO here. Mimikyu is going to Shadow Sneak. Kind of saw that coming. I was gonna say yes, first time priority. Can we eat? Yeah, we eat up all day. He's gonna take off my Sash. He's gonna try to KO me, but hopefully we can get get after him before he gets after us. Yeah, this thing's this thing's a special defense beast, so he's gonna be able to eat up all day. We can blow comes out here, doing a little bit of damage, and our Urshifu is dead. Starfall's coming out here, changing up the terrain. Urshifu's dead. Oh no, you go after Regilecki. And Regilecki said, that's GG's. That's GG's. Man, dude. Kyogre's Origin Pulse really did us dirty. It honestly did. That won him the game. Just that Origin Pulse for a double kill. We were thriving. We had a pretty strong start to this battle. We were doing just dandy candy. We took out his Urshifu in turn one, but then Kyogre comes out here. I want to see my uh, Calyx speed. I want to see my Calyx speed. Was I, did I look at the wrong stat when I said 222? No, 222 is its speed. I'm so surprised that he outsped my Calamix. I really am. But that's going to be game. I mean, I can Sucker Punch, but I'm just going to run. He's going to be able to eat up whatever I have to offer. I do outspeed. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can we can get a high roll on damage. Let's see what happens here. Wicked Blow comes out here. No, we're dead. We're dead, man. Critical, it comes through. And play rough coming out here, and that's gonna be GG's. We were dead anyway. He was gonna kill me on either side. We needed to KO that uh, Silvalli, have him miss two attacks. Silvalli, Sylveon, bleh. And then uh, be able to take off that disguise and win that match. Third and final battle, we're sitting at one and one. Looking for that winning record for the Jeans Online Gamma Community, baby. Looking for it for you guys. Going up against a Zekrom Kingler team? Okay, looking crazy cool to be honest with you guys. He also has Urshifu, Amoongus, uh, what is that thing's name? Celestia and Thunderous. Okay. Alright, I, I see you. I see you. Um, I definitely want to bring that Regilecki. Regilecki's coming in all these battles. He just rocks out. Um, want to bring Calyx for sure. Calyx, you're, you're coming down. He has that Electric and Dragon typing. Uh, who do I want to go with? We're definitely going to bring uh, Lando. Lando could be a lead. He has Defiant, so I do not want to lead the, uh, the boy. I'm going to go here, and I think I want to go maybe Amoongus. Let's give, let's give Amoongus a little bit of love. We're going to go Lando in the back, and then Regilecki. Is that the play? Is that the play? I think it's the play. I'm liking it. Let's buzz it. Let's buzz it. Let's get Amoongus out here. Maybe try to throw some spores. Get him buzzing from there. But, yeah, that uh, that Thunders isn't looking too good for us. That's why I wanted to lead my Intimidate Mod. I wanted to lead Lando, but then, good thing I caught it last second. I was just sitting there, I was like, bro, he is defiant. Because if you do not realize that, like, I remember when I used to play, like, a couple months ago. Well, maybe a year ago, when this game first came out. Defiant used to always get me. I used to always forget about it. See, he leads that. We do not go into our Intimidate Mod, and we're sitting pretty good here. But, yeah, Defiant used to always get me, because I would lead my Intimidate Mod, thinking I'm doing fine. He Defiant boost, and basically the game's over after that. We'll just time max and run you. Or boost it. He'll just get it after you. But he has a Zekrom right here, which is scaring me, man. He is scaring me. I'm not even going to lie. I could plot. I could totally plot. I might Dynamax. I could Drain and Kiss. I'm just posing such a big threat right now, to be honest with you guys. I do outspeed. I might just get after you. And I might put this boy to sleep. I think that's going to be play. You better not Dynamax and send a Max Lightning. That would, that would, that would be awful. I think he's going to maybe change Zekrom. He might swap Zekron. Actually, I don't think he will. I'm Dynamaxing. I'm dropping a Starfall on this boy. We're getting after this thing. He might Dynamax Zekron. I don't really know. But hopefully I can at least get the Sunders to sleep. Throw some Spores. Spores around. I love Spore, man. I love a move. This move is so good. Considering Spore hits 100% of the time. And, he's, and he has really good uh, other moves to use for a support mod. Awesome. Let's see what he goes. He's going to Dynamax, right? Yeah. Yeah, yo, Restricted Mons unite for Dynamaxing. We getting after him. He has that Electric, he has a Dragon type. Oh no, you're going with him. Yo, do not set that Electric Train. Yo, please, do me a favor and don't set that Electric Train. I, I will not like you anymore. That would just ruin my spores, man. 
That'll ruin my spores. Actually, it says Pokemon on the ground can't go to sleep. You're not on the ground. Decron, get out of here. We're boosting. We're boosting here. Right? When the when that terrain comes out here. Actually, we just set the Misty terrain. Misty terrain doesn't help us either. Let's see. Let's see. I think he's gonna set electric. Let's see what he does. We'll grimnade boost it. Maybe I should have thought about my, my plays before going into the spore. Well, let's see. He's gonna go for an airstream. Oh, Koba Berry coming out here. I think Misty, <laughs> Misty Terrain might protect him here. <laughs> which is pretty rough. Amuga should be able to eat. Yeah. But thank you, Koba Berry. We might have just did ourselves dirty there. No. We did not. Cool. We put this thing to sleep. Because I, I believe it's Pokemon only on the ground. Right? Let me read it again. I believe that's uh, the Electric Terrain does that one. A Misty Terrain might do the same. It's Pokemon. It affects Pokemon on the ground. And this thing is flying, so he's not touching the ground. We put him to sleep. Your boy's looking pretty good. Considering we're plus one on special attack with the Calyrex. I could, uh, I could, what's it called, too? I could Rage Powder here. But yeah, your boy Calyrex getting ready to set up. He's going to go Amoongus. Hey, yo, that's fine by me. And we have to get after that Amoongus. You think I win the speed tie and put him to sleep? Or I just Rage Powder. I don't think actually actually Rage Powder wouldn't affect him. I love to see it. You love to see a little quit. Third and final battle, we get to do the quit right off the rip like that. And we go two and one for today's video. Awesome set of battles for today's video. Went two and one and made the last dude turn off his console and quit the game. Some people might say, hey, he might have just lost connection, but still, even if he didn't lose connection, we set up that game perfectly. I think we're gonna win it either way. We had his Dynamax Pokemon asleep. We had Grimnade boosted plus one and we still had two turns left in our dynamic. We were looking very, very well for that battle. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.